what advice would you give a first time director? I think it's a nice thing to take the actor aside mm -hmm. and tell and be like, oh, yeah. look, okay, is something wrong? You know, I mean, and talk to them and don't give them a do couple it. of goes at it themselves, <coughs> and then discreetly, you know, yeah, say, don't let's talk about this. Uh, let's talk about everybody. this scene. You can give the sneezing a try. I need you to do it a little louder. It's better to exaggerate than under exaggerate. Right on. Okay. And we'd be so fine with that. Definitely, it's good. James okay. Yeah. Ha have have the sneezing be the drunk equivalent. Right. If that makes sense. So you know what they say, everyone loves a winner. Well, what are you two going to drink with me now? Um, the challenge is, is starting. <gasps> to me, it felt almost like ex-girlfriend approaching. Okay. You know, I don't know. What you just did there is exactly what you should do. You want to give them the action because you had specific direction that you gave her, which was great. But when you kind of leave it up to them, like, well, what do you, you know, kind of, they can hem and hum. They might not even know. They might be put on the spot and be like, oh, God, what do I do now? Plus, it also makes it seem like you don't know exactly what you want. That's true. <laughs> which I don't. <laughs> As it but turns you need out. to know. This guy seems like if he was getting on a bus, he'd try and hide. There's usually like four types of buses. So you walk in. There's a little thing where you put the no. stuff. Here's the driver. You know, he, he well, runs a gauntlet, and then he ends up sitting in the back. And if there are any that are up here and they're not directly interacting with him, shoot their stuff first. Mm -hmm. Get yeah. them out of there. Because mm -hmm. the fewer people you have on the bus, the hot, less hot it will get. Can you tell it's morning light versus evening light in your apartment, Mel? Uh, it's got some fairly big, like, bay windows. We really need to know what props we're going to have at what time and that kind of information in order to really establish what shots we can do when. For Andrea, we're still waiting to hear back from Danielle. Yeah. Jay Walker was confirmed as the bartender. The it's extras good. can be different in both worlds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I work the bar and there's a continuous flow in and out of people. So it does, I don't think that's as... As long as we have our main core group. The wardrobe is the same for everybody in both realities or not. Maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe the like, wardrobe's a little different. Like, just here might be a little... Yeah, I mean, minor changes that, oh, are, I, I that think, are obvious. Yeah. So the moment he comes out of the uh, bathroom, it's immediate we're in a different situation. Trying to come across their faces. faces. Okay. Like that one was good. Well, that's because their faces were out of shots. She mm -hmm. should react a little bit, too. Should I like, almost like, well, you're getting... If you're in a car well, crash, your head is going to yeah. be, like, hitting against the... The oh, thing, like okay. you may want to, like I don't know, do something a little more okay. traumatic. Okay. What? Be careful. Where are we going? It's just another block away. Block. What? Get out! Hey, watch it. Be careful. How can you see you while sneezing like that? Come on, I'm fine. Just trust me. We're almost there. Achoo! Hey, look what? Achoo! Watch out! We're 90 minutes into the film. What happens to your character? Well, something more no. happens before your story resolves. A setback? Yes, major setback. <laughs> this setback should be so severe that it actually causes your character's final change. He should realize what I have is not good enough. I actually have to change. Action. Okay, gang, final challenge. The winner gets to leave the biggest boozer house and drive home in a brand new car! Okay, cut. Uh, I just want to do one line, not even the whole thing. That was excellent. No, it's just a couple more seconds. If you could just do that line, it's amazing where to stay will do for oh, some yeah. drunks. That's really key for what triggers his it's next so rant. So if you could punch that, that would be awesome. You know, what's that moment that you yes. realize? Yes. That shift of consciousness yeah. moment, yeah. A moment of awakening, yes. So what is the end? We were going to talk about Let's talk end. about the end. Yeah. Uh, I prefer the darker side of the ending, like of the protagonist dying, you know what I'm saying? But I don't know. I mean, it could work better. And I'll wash my hair later. If it's pink for a little while, it's pink. Like, Jack doesn't become a ghost, but he starts to cycle of his now. His girlfriend is in Scott's position. Jack doesn't die, but, it's, but he causes the demise of his girlfriend mm -hmm. from drunk driving. And it has like a mirror effect of like you, you make victims. Right. And then just to kind of drive the point home, we could have her standing over her own body. Is it dramatic enough for that revelation moment?
and he's very aware that the ghost is telling him, this is who you are. You are the drunk driver. We need to see something with a DWI guy. Either he says something or just is an expression that he's changed a little bit. You know, it doesn't have to be a big dramatic. It doesn't have to be an I repent, I repent my awful ways. Not but even just a close-up of the DWI guy. And, like, you just kind of, like, see it dawning on him, like, you know what? Yeah, just, just, just as long as we, we see that he's learned something. Like, you know, I don't usually take the bus. He's sober for two of the competitions, mm -hmm. and he... He right. loses one of them, but he, he wins the final one. Talking right. about drinking and driving. Right, that so he, he takes exact, a sip of champagne because okay. he's the winner, and he gets yeah, and his girl and his girlfriend gives him a ride home because he made the responsible choice and he didn't shun booze at the same time. He got a ride. Yeah. I like that. I like that. Now thing. you just broke the hardest part of writing a script. The ending. The ending. And now hit your raw space bar. All right, you're good. Good to go. You're clear to drive. All right. Don't worry about me, officer. Where are you going? I'm a doctor. I'm good to go. And I saw the show. I saw you making an effort, planning ahead for once. Asafer, this is an outrage. This is yeah. an outrage. Yeah. Thought I'd give you another chance. Excellent. Okay. Amazing. Well, Victory lap around. Let me show you. I hope that they realize that, you know, just taking an extra minute or two to plan ahead can really make a major difference. Tonight I know I'll go to DJ at a bar and there's an open bar tab. I know that I'll have lots of whiskey and uh, someone else will drive. I learned that I don't really think about it enough when I'm leaving the bar. Like last night I left the bar and I even had a date by the time I left the bar and I was like, let's go walk and hang out near the river. And we hung out there for like an hour and a half. It was a great thing to do after the bar and I not only didn't drive drunk, that way I didn't get on a highway with everybody else driving drunk. But so, I mean, I wasn't taking the theme at all seriously, making the film, but it's interesting. Um. Let's walk. Okay. You want to get some coffee? Yeah. I was very impressed. You can all call yourselves filmmakers now, so thank you. you you've, oh, and I should say, you, you've done what a lot of other filmmakers haven't done. You finished something. <laughs> as close as possible as where we had it. That's a wrap. Great job, actors. This is like Roman times. <laughs> Going to the Coliseum. <laughs> well, let's do it one more time for safety's sake. Did you learn a lot? I did. I've, I've never worked with anybody at this professional movie. Yeah, this is a good crash course in filmmaking. Right. Yeah. Go, go. <laughs> Hands on, get out there, do it, screw up, it's okay. I really did learn a lot doing a bachelorette party in Boston and we're getting a driver. So it did impact me a lot. What is this? A little bit of jello. Oh my god. What's it for? Octopus wrestling. <laughs> this team worked well together. I'm pushing the candy on the crowd. I'm getting them all excited. It's time for revelry and, and, and allergy, which rhymes. I think I've brought an interesting perspective to the class. I'm the only person with my personal history here. Hopefully I've contributed something, not only to the making of the film, but you know, someone will, will see my story or hear what I'm saying, and um, they'll think twice too before they do it.